And historical type research is, is where you find the records and archives and historical data and you analyze it for insight of some of the past events and phenomenon as it relates to education that could prove useful to the current era. And so there might be things that might have been gained knowledge uh, understood that may not have been used, acknowledged, put to use at the time, but it may prove useful now. And so that insight can be of benefit even in today's digital world. So that would be historical type research. So we looked at some of the qualitative type research. Now let's look at more of the quantitative because this is where the statistical analysis is mostly applied. With the content analysis, historical, ethnographic type research, the qualitative research, there is, uh, in the past, there was not uh, any statistics being applied to the data. It was very limited. Everything was manually done by the researcher. Now things are different because the, the mass of data collected, even from say a content analysis can be huge. And so there is the application of science of, of computer science and, and machine learning that has changed some of these content analysis. And so we'll take a look at that, but now let's focus on the more traditional quantitative type of 